design the drone, we, we tried to simplify basically the entire system so you can just print it in one or two parts. It's fire retardant and it's UV resistant, which makes it really great for kind of high altitude flights. All right, guys, we're here at AMOG 2023 again at the Ascension booth, and today we've got Zach to talk about some of their new line of element materials. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? Fantastic. Fantastic. Tell me about it. It's a high altitude research drone, and we took a more complex assembly, and we basically broke it down, and we made it into two parts. So this drone was printed on the 280. Tell me a little bit about it. This material is special. It can do things that others can't, but what is it? It's high altitude, so it's cold, right? Yeah. So this is our first variation of the ascending element material. So it's got temperature resistance up to negative 60 C. It's fire retardant and it's UV resistant, which makes it really great for kind of high altitude flights. And you designed the drone? Yeah, I definitely designed the drone. We, we tried to simplify basically the entire system. So you can just print it in one or two parts. I, I'm a, a drone pilot myself, right? Yeah. I love doing the FPV drones and everything. This, this is what, two parts? Yeah, so you've got a electronics enclosure that sits in the middle and you've got basically a cover. Everything else, as far as motor mounts and blade guards, is all one single assembly. That's legit. How fast is this print? This is about a six hour print. Okay, not bad. You've got features here, like the circle, so most of the time these are self-supporting. Did you use support material at all? No, this is an entirely support-free support design. Support-free, single extruder design. Any other parts you want to show off while, you, while we're here? Yeah, have you seen the uh, yeah. seen the guitar? Oh yeah, let's check out the guitar. Here, we'll grab it and come over there. All here. right, so this is our Ascendium guitar. I'd play for you if I could. But essentially, this is our nylon material. It's HTN black, so it makes a really right. stiff guitar. It's going to make the right. guitar not go out of tune quite as much. So we've got these magnetic inserts that you can basically remove. Uh, so if you kind of get tired of the design of your guitar, you just do yeah. something new, replace them. All right, give me your best right. chord. Here we go. <laughs> we're engineers, we're not yeah, musicians. Not well, musicians. We do both, some of them. But anyway, very, very cool. This is odd. So you designed this whole thing? Yeah, we designed That's this to kind of show off the material for the yeah. show. So. so we've got, the body is PCGG or HT, HT in black. HT in black. Yeah, so it's our high temp nylon and our semi-new black color. Cool customization of the yeah, whole thing. This, these are all various infills that you can do when you're 3D printing. So ah. you've got a 3D cross infill and yep. your, your typical gyroid and triangular. That's all I got. All right. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Zach. It's been yeah. a pleasure. Great crew based right here in the USA in the state of Texas, and they got another facility on the West Coast as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a positive rest of your day. We'll see you on the next video.